getting some of the tongue and groove up. And so far it's coming out pretty nice. Fitting good, decent up in the corners. So we won't have to do much trim work. We're going right up over top of the rafters on our flaps that we had cut at pitch. So we got a little shade now on this side. And just so long as the sun doesn't warp it, man, it's hot out today. A lot more to go. How come you're all sweaty? It's a little bit hot out here. We got shade though. How hot is it supposed to get today? We got uh, uh, 98, I think. No, <laughs> you wish. <laughs> this was the hottest day yet. I think it was supposed to be 108. That's it. 102, I believe. 102, I think. I think you're crazy. All right. We're getting ready to put some more up. As you can see, our tongue and groove is going up nicely. We got shade down inside the house now. I wish we had some up here. She's sure doing a good job. It's hot. All right, we're going to go back to putting some of this up. watching you. <laughs> I was waiting for a border jammer in the back. Can you understand me? I was waiting for a border jammer in the back. Well, we about got one side done. I got to cut the back ridge beams off for a two foot overhang and they're a little long but it's turning out good. It's gonna look nice. I'm sure glad we did it this way instead of sheetrock and where you can see the big beams. Anyway, I'm gonna go in and take a break for hour let this heat cool off a little and the sun go down behind the trees a little and we're gonna start on the other side but it's looking good we took a little break now we're starting on the second side he's putting up the string line for the top we're getting started on wood on this side. This is how far we got today. Not too bad considering the heat. Not that much. Two thirds of one side left to go.
nozzles. With the sun behind them, they look like they're glowing, like they're on fire. A little crack where there's a defect is doing the same thing. Never had one do that before. <laughs> okay. You're not gonna cut from that side, I hope. No. No. Oh, okay. No, I gotta get back over here. Okay. You go to the other side and watch. precarious on your ladder, so I figured I better hold it for you. Oh, now. Trying to test out the effectiveness of your steel toe boots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? I said, are you trying to test out the effectiveness of your steel toe boots? Uh -huh. yeah. That looked pretty close. <laughs> okay. All right, that was the last one, wasn't it? Uh, there's one up front, ain't there? One up front? Okay. The shoe is full. <laughs> full of sawdust? Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. On me. Yep. Look at him being all safe. Oh, that's still down. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm being safe. I said it. Look at this. I said it where it should be. I can go rock climbing now. You did set it? Well, I think so. It looks like it's on the line. But, I mean, you can pull on it. Yeah, get a little tighter. Got his harness on. Being a good boy. <laughs> Mommy can't finish this cabin by herself. I'd have to hire some good looking young fella to help me if you broke a leg. What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> man said, huh?
can't do that without a pencil in your mouth, can you? I <laughs> Talk like Mike there, don't I? I was working on getting the trusses up. Right? And I'm trimming them. Some of our boards are drier than others, so when they dried, they're all a little uneven sizes. So I'm trimming them back up on the mill so they all match. Look at that safety harness. Tell you what, this old log arch has been a lifesaver. I'd have to carry that on my shoulder if I didn't have this. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's be quiet. We'll see some deer. If you see a deer, don't chase them now. Taking the boys for a walk. Cinda's getting some stuff ready at the house. We'll probably run a little electrical this morning to our lights. Get all that put in. And we'll be ready to insulate pretty quick when we get the facer on. And our little vent blocks. And we're supposed to have metal today for the roof. Get that dude dry it in. We'll be hitting the inside pretty hard. Indy, does this hill get steeper all the time? Got our mill back here. Cinder's going to start cutting the fascias. We've got a few cut. These logs have been drying for quite some time. Hopefully they won't shrink too much on us after we cut them. They've been laying so long. They've been laying probably close to three years now. So hopefully they're dry enough. But anyway, there's the cabin. You can see our trusses up there. Got all them up yesterday. It's looking good. Thanks again for watching, guys and girls. You want me to talk? Okay. Well, we've had a drought for several weeks. If you ever need rain, just try putting a roof on. In my front yard. We got, we got two. We were supposed to have a 15 to 20 percent chance of a little afternoon thunderstorm. In the last two days, we've got a torrential downpour, but we super needed it. All the trees are really happy. And fortunately, we had tar paper up over our tongue and groove, and it's held up. It didn't seem to hurt anything. 
and it sure cooled it off. It's pretty nice out this morning. It's supposed to get hot this afternoon, but Lance is already working. wish we could put glass windows in the end down there. That won't work with the bathroom. I hate to see the end cap closed up. Oh well. I've been, I've been putting, this is what we're gonna put in for lights. These six inch LEDs, the slim fit. For the kitchen. There's a little box that fits with it. That just goes up in the attic and that screws together. It's pretty cool how they work. We never used one. This wire is just temporary. I was just turning it on so somebody could see it. But that's what all those holes, four holes were for. They're skylights right now. Yeah, we're getting on skylight. <laughs> and can we take a shower? Yeah, it rains some so more. So those will go up there. This is my wiring coming down to my switch where the bathroom wall is gonna be. Yeah, we'll have a wall right here. Yeah. And then, look at there. That's so when you exhaust go to the fan. bathroom. Now, be nice. The exhaust fan. Exhaust fan. So the exhaust fan. To take humidity and other things out of the yeah. bathroom. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go wire it up right now. But that's what I've been doing this morning. Not a whole lot. Seems like. And I've been cutting trim. Well, we had a lot of stuff to figure out this morning. We had to figure out where the... Oh, yeah, I run all my wires through the ceiling. Yeah, we had to figure out where all the chandelier is going to go. Yeah. Far fan goes out there. The uh, ceiling fan. Ceiling fan. On the porch. And this wiring right here, this will be inside my wall. That goes over there, comes down here to this, where we get power. That's all I wanted to do. Plenty. Lots of thinking. Lots of thinking. Taxing my little brain. I got three brain cells. <laughs> that's what Sunday says. <laughs> Are you ready for lunch? I am. I'm hungry. Okay. Go finish that and I'll go fix you something while you're doing I'm that. Aware of that. Okay. Right. Log up here this morning. It's about 16 inches in diameter and about a little over 12 feet long. That's my job for the morning. I'm going to cut some one buys out of it and hopefully if the wood is nice and looks good we're going to try to get some uh, fascia out of it as well.
we had to get some longer screws for the fascia that we put up yesterday. Yeah. Gonna work on that today and hopefully we'll get our metal roofing in today. Cause we've got two days. Less than 100 degree weather and then about 10 days of 102. So we're hopefully gonna get the roof on before that. Yeah, Cinda's up here cutting our fascia. We needed uh, at least 12 foot by 10 inches. Look at that slab. Fifteen inches that we can use. Fourteen, a good fourteen we can use. So look at that wood. That stuff is dirty. Now she's cutting this one. Help her get that set up there. Look at the face of that wood. One twenty four and a quarter. One twenty four and a quarter. I'm gonna cut one twenty four and a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see Like you've done that before. I have done that a few times. Just putting a six pitch little cut on the edge of the soffit trim. And that's where it's going. All along there to keep the edges of our soffit from warping. And to finish them off real pretty. Alrighty. Just putting trim up to cover up the ends of the tongue and groove on the fascia and the soffit. <laughs> Need me to help you again? You film me on the hardest part. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll help you and I'll film you on the other part that's not warm. No, I just gotta move my ladder over so I can shove harder. Okay. We're sitting here eating pretzels and some peanuts, drinking a Gatorade. And we're just looking at this cabin and thinking, did we do this or did it build itself? 
but it's coming together. I don't have sent the video yet, but we've got the face from her down this one side. You can see. We went with 10 inch. Actually, nine, we cut it down to nine and a quarter. But the massive fascia looks really good on there.